It was another cold start out there this morning, but good news was it was a little bit warmer than what we saw yesterday. And as we get into tonight, it's going to also be just a little bit warmer. That trend will continue as we get into the weekend. Here's a look at morning lows, negative two in both Bend and Sun River this morning, but that beat your negative eight that you saw yesterday morning. Along I-5 starting off in those low 20s at both 21 in Corvallis and Eugene. Down into the Umqua Basin, Roseburg, 23 degrees. Out along the coast, everyone saw those low to mid 30s to start off the new year. Temperatures outside right now, yes, they are cooling off quickly. They are still on the cold side. Out along the coast, upper 30s in Newport, though 40s in both Florence and North Bend. Along I-5, 28 in Corvallis, 30 in Eugene, also 33 in Roseburg. But these temperatures are at least 2 degrees warmer than where we were this time yesterday. Out into Central Oregon, 16 degrees in Bend. Storm Tracker 9 satellite radar showing clear skies across the area. These clear skies will continue as we get into tonight. However, I am expecting more uh, fog and also freezing fog to develop as we get into late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We saw it last night into early tomorrow morning in the Umpqua Basin. That fog sticking around until early this afternoon, but expect that to develop again tonight. And the reason we're going to see that freezing fog is because temperatures again will fall below freezing. And when you have that fog, it is considered freezing fog. Can form some ice on the trees as well as some roadways could cause some slick spots out there. So just be careful if you're heading out tomorrow morning. Changes overhead. High pressure now sliding a little bit further to the south than where it was yesterday. So winds are moving in more from the west northwest. This is bringing in some more mild air and also bringing in some more moisture. So expect the clouds to increase across the area and temperatures also slowly warming up each and every day. Here's a breakdown of what you can expect over the next couple of days. Again, patchy freezing fog as we get into tonight. Temperatures will warm up as we get into this weekend, but with the warm up, we'll bring more clouds across the area and we do have a chance for some showers late Sunday night, mainly for the northern half though of the viewing area. But for tomorrow, no rain showers out along the coast. Expect the sunshine. High temperatures will be into those low 50s again, so another mild day and back near average. For those in the Umpqua Basin, expect your highs into the low 40s. Some patchy freezing fog again in the morning. By the afternoon though, we'll have the return of sunshine. Cascades in the foothills, expect those low 40s. Over the passes, upper 30s. Central Oregon, another chilly day, but warmer than where you're at today. Expect your highs into those upper 30s tomorrow. And finally, for the Willamette Valley, expect low 40s tomorrow. Patchy freezing fog in the morning, but we'll have the return of sunshine in the afternoon. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast along the coast. Chance for drizzle early Saturday, but again, we'll have a better chance for some showers. Second half of Sunday and mainly Florence North, so northern coastline there. Next week, we'll keep the clouds temperatures back near average mid 50s for the highs. The Umpqua Basin staying dry through the weekend. Temperatures climbing back into the upper 40s, then into the low 50s once we get into next week. The Cascades looking at the clouds as well, sticking around. Could have a shower possible on Sunday afternoon, but again, mainly about Santee and Pass North. So Mount Hood, they're going to see some more snow. The Willamette Valley looking at some freezing fog both tomorrow morning as well as Saturday morning. As we get into Sunday, still going to deal with fog in the morning and also going to bring in some showers. So far, mainly about Junction City North. Better chance of course the further north that you go for, so for Portland in the Willamette Valley they have a better chance to see these showers but we'll keep you posted as we get into the weekend otherwise big story temperatures finally getting back near average no more chilly nights after this night though still kind of chilly out there